Hey there, welcome back to the series of making your own song and today we're working on some vocals. So now we have our session here, uh, we'll be recording some screaming vocals and I'll show you how exactly I do it. Um, I usually set up a few tracks for my or anyone else's vocal tracking. Um, but like I call it DI, that's the track I'm using for tracking everything. And then as soon as I'm done with the take and I'm happy with it, I move it to a different channel, depending on the purpose of the phrase. Um, so my DI channel is set up. I'm going straight into my interfaces 11th input. So I'm selecting input 11. I've got some plugins here um, for the sake of leveling out the vocal performance a little bit, a little bit of compression, a little bit of top end EQ over there and a filter to cut off extra low end. Another plugin I really like to use, um, it's by Joey Sturgis Tones, it's called Gain Reduction. I find that whenever I put that on, um, it compresses, gives saturation, gives a little bit of clarity and vocalist is always way more comf confident when he can hear himself properly through this plugin. Um, I'm always using, pretty much like 90% of the time I'm using this for vocal tracking and results are always coming out pretty great. I'm not a fan of it for mixing because I feel it's not uh, versatile enough for it, but for tracking it's one of the best tools out there. Um, though today I'll be using SSL channel strip over here, as I said with little top end boost, a um, little bit of high pass filter up to 150 hertz. Um, compression ratio A to 1, I'm doing about 14, 10 dB of gain reduction. Um, and that's about it for this plugin. Then I use another 1170, 1176 compressor with 4 to 1 ratio. These are the settings. And again, doing about like 7 to 10 dB reduction on the screens. As everyone knows, Finn is an absolute legend. So he recorded all of the vocal ideas he had, the melodies, and basically all of the clean vocals. So I slightly mixed it in and just to have an understanding and idea how the song goes. Um, so I'm going to play it for you now to see what's the idea behind his lyrics and his vocals was.
here's the song. Uh, Finn did an incredible job. As far as I know, this was all one take performance. Maybe he lied to me. I'm not sure, but it's it's pretty good. He hasn't been edited yet. hasn't been tuned yet. So it's all raw with a little bit of mixing in there. So now let's go through the channels that I use for screen tracking. I always have a main channel um, for my centered in your face vocal. Then I have a duplicate of that. Um, so it's going to be basically exactly the same, but double tracked. And then I have left and right channels for extra width, extra punch and you know make when you whenever you want certain sections to make sound bigger or if you want to leave one vocal in the center and then support it from the sides so I use left and right vocal channels for that. I went through Finn's performance and I, I cut it up slightly so I have a little clue of like what I want to do where so for example in this section definitely want to support that with screams over there um, same probably with this beating as you speak to me with a massive dog between your teeth especially when Finn is doing these pitch pitch screams um or like when his voice is breaking it's really cool to add screams underneath that I'm definitely gonna support his vocal line throughout this pre-chorus chorus kind of bit um, because he goes into a higher register and I think it loses a little bit of impact so some screams underneath the blended in will be really cool. And especially on those long scream notes. It'll be really cool to add some saturation there from a different performance as well. So usually to set up vocals for tracking and get the right levels, I test out one or two phrases quickly together with the song, record them, and then adjust the faders volume just so it's enough for me to hear, but not overpowering the rest of the mix. First phrase I'm going to record uh, will be to support Finn's first shouty kind of vocal. Uh, they'll be on the phrase effigies. Maybe I'll maybe I'll even do the other FGs. So let's give that a go. And I'll do a few more layers of that, just so I can pan it left and right and add a double to thicken it up a little bit and create more impact. So what I'm going to do now is unpack those takes um, and move them into the separate channels and have a listen what it sounds like. So I think the level of the vocals right now is quite good here. So I'm just going to go with that and use my DI track to hear myself better. And then once I'm happy with the take, move it to the main track and keep it there. So next phrase that I'm going to do is to support, again, Finn's vocal will be I changed. Between your teeth, I changed.
so far my favorite take was number two no sorry number three so i'm going to use that as a main vocal and then move the rest to different channels So next bit of the lyrics, I'm going to do screams only and then bring back the singing vocals just before it kicks in into the next section. Probably this one I'm just gonna double track because it's quite fast paced vocals and don't want too much of it. And then bring back left and right vocals just at the end of the very phrase. So for I'm taking you with me bits, I'm thinking of adding some low screams just to put it on the left and right, just to add some sort of different vocal to it, you know? So here Finn did a really nice and long pitch scream, which is quite even. So what I'm going to do is try to replicate that with my own voice. And I hope when we add it all together, it will create nice, saturated unity. Let's say that way. And I'm going to add one more layer to that um, so I could have left, right and center double. So I'm just not going to do the main vocal because then I think it will overpower Finn's voice. This house will be on so yeah, this is pretty much how I track vocals for any pre-production session. Um, I set up Microphone, make sure the gain is correct, select the right input, uh, put some sort of compression plugin on my vocal channel so I could hear myself better in the headphones, record a little snippet of a vocal, adjust it in a mix so it's not overpowering but you can still hear it, and then start layering vocals. I hope you find this helpful and I'll see you next week.